Hello everyone, it's Brandy Janae. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel today. In today's video, I am going to be cash stuffing my first paycheck in April. So if you're interested in seeing this, please be sure to stay tuned. Okie dokie, so I have my wallet ready. My bank bag is ready. Let's see how much money we have today. So 51 to 300. 320, 40, 60, 70, 80. Oops. Gotta move you back. 85, 90, 95, so 395, 96, 97, 8, 9, 400, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 412 dollars, assuming that I counted that right. <laughs> Let's get this bank bag out of the way. And we will unstuff before we start stuffing so nothing left in beauty i have woo 20 left in miscellaneous 13 left in food Twenty left and get wow. Uh, you know what? I was on spring break and so I really didn't go outside very much. <laughs> so that's awesome. All right, so beauty gets forty eight first for nails. Five, forty six, forty seven, forty eight, and then so I always kind of put this one way, and then hair gets seventy eight. And just in case you're like wondering, I do factor in, oops, I put this the wrong way. I do factor in the tip amount as well. So this is like, you know, the complete total for nails and hair. All right, miscellaneous gets its normal 50. I think I was just gonna put, no, I'm sorry. Did I have these? I got these out of order. I took one out. Okay, my bad, because that's gonna throw me off. Food, <laughs> food gets 60. Miscellaneous gets 50. Gas gets 60. And giving gets five. All right. So that is the end of my wallet. Do I have any? I have a couple receipts that I am going to scan in the Fetch app. So if you are not familiar with Fetch, it is an app that you can use to save. You scan your receipts and then you earn points for those receipts to redeem for gift cards to like lots of different places. So I will leave my code on the screen, but that information is always in the description box. And I do have some change, but I, again, forgot to bring my change jar. So I'm just going to put all this extra stuff in there <laughs> and I'll put it away later. Okay. Sorry, coffee time. Okay, so I am going to put this to the side while it is complete. And then what do we have left? So I have to do my monthly binder. We are starting in April. So I finished January, February, March. So now we're in April. This challenge is available in my Etsy shop as a digital download. Um, comment below if this is something that you would like for me to print, like laminated, printed and shipped. I don't have it listed that way right now, but 
if there's people out there that would be interested in that, then that is something that I would be willing to do. Uh, so we'll do 10, 20. I don't know why I kind of feel like coloring today. <laughs> 30, 40, and 50. Normally I'll just cross these off, but for some reason today, I'm feeling like a little coloring. <laughs> it's not the best coloring, but it's a little challenging to be consistent with a Sharpie. And I forgot to turn my heater off again. So if you hear that gurgling sound in the background, that's what it is. I have that old like furnace heating here. So it makes a lot of noise. So here is the $50 for April. All right, so that's exciting. I'm so excited that I have been able to complete this again. I was able to do it all last year, so I completed you know, every single one and was able to do the $100 a month. Um, so I'm super excited that I'm able to do that again this year. And this binder will go towards debt, so exciting and then why do i have extra money hmm seriously heater i don't know why i have extra money um because the only thing i have left to do is my 50 envelope challenge so and we are still working our way up front so yeah so 46 Six is the one we're on right now. So now we are like caught up. And I'm going to put $51 in here. I don't know why I pulled that out. Somewhere I zigged where I should have zagged. So this $51 is going in here in the number 46. And I did, I was selling this <laughs> in my Etsy shop, but the company that I was purchasing the uh, pockets from, they don't carry them anymore. So I'm going to have to see if I can get some more of those pockets to make some more. But I'm thinking about just switching it to a 52 week tracker because I do have some of these pockets that have the four squares. So I don't know. That's something I'm still thinking about, but I have a lot of other things that I'm working on right now, so it's not really like a priority. So these are currently sold out. If for some reason I'm able to get my hands on more of these, then I will relist this. And then if not, then I'll go ahead and just change it to a 52 week challenge situation. So we'll see. I don't know why I have this extra money here. That means it goes somewhere and I don't know. I don't know where it goes and I don't know why it's here. So we are going to figure that out. <laughs> but I stuffed everything I'm supposed to stuff. So like, I don't know. I don't know. So this is probably some like, I, okay. So here's the thing. <laughs> when I go pull out money, I pull out money for my wallet. I pull out money for my sinking funds envelopes. I pull out money for you know, my freebie Fridays, mini Mondays, like all the things. I just pull it all out at one time. And then I go to the bank or no, when I come home, I take it out and I put it where it's supposed to go. So chances are when I was going through and sorting it, I just, I put this here. What is, is this 10? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. I know exactly what this is. So I received a check from my, so that's going to go in here. I received it. I forgot received a check from my health insurance company. Apparently I overpaid $10. So they sent that back. So I just told them to give me the 10 back in ones. That's what that's for. <laughs> so we're going to put that in there as like money that I'll then transfer over to um, my savings. Um, actually, I think I'm going to put it in. Normally I put it in the two savings challenges. But I think some of this is going to go in my sinking funds because my sinking funds binder 
like just because the way the bills fall this time is going to be a little bit less. So some of this will go into my sinking funds binder and some of this will go into my savings challenges binder, but that won't matter to you because you'll just see which money I'm working with. But just know that that's what I'm doing with this extra rollover money. So I cannot believe I had this much rollover. That's insane. I'm excited about that. So anyway, I'm going to stop talking now. <laughs> But thank you guys so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Thumbs up is so amazing for all content creators because it just lets YouTube know that you value the content so that they can continue to spread it. So especially for the smaller channels, if you could always give us a thumbs up, that would be fantastic. Like when I'm watching videos, I literally click thumbs up before I even watch the video. Because again, being kind is free. Being kind is it is free. It, it really is. And like, what greater support can you give than to watch the people that you watch? Now, if it's a new person, you know, if this is your first time being here, then I don't necessarily expect you to give me a thumbs up automatically because you, you just, you don't even know me. But if you're somebody that watches the videos like all the time, like I have certain people that I watch religiously, I always put a thumbs up before I even start watching the video. So that way I don't forget to do that at the end. Um, I may not be able to leave a comment sometimes because sometimes, you know, I'm watching videos when I'm washing dishes or doing laundry or whatever the situation. Sometimes I'm listening to videos while I'm in the shower. So I don't always get a chance to leave a comment, but I'm like a thumbs up still helps all content creators. So that's just a little helpful tip for you people out there in the YouTube land. Um, so yeah, if it's somebody that you watch all the time, leaving a thumbs up immediately before you even start the video will keep it so that you don't forget to do it later. Cause if you're like me, you flick a video and then you start doing something else and then you forget. So anyway, thank you for being here. <laughs> be safe, be kind, or be quiet and be well. And I'll catch you in the next one. Oh, and don't forget to check the description box. Bye.